Hi, it's Sonia here, and I am showing a sketchbook process video. This is an ab my abstract sketchbook, and I've sped this um, video up two times. Uh, here you can see that I'm starting it, and I have already filled in uh, a bit of some of the page with um, some collage, and I've made a start on it. Um, and then I was like, oh, let's, I should video this actually, because maybe this is. Um, um, fun to watch and uh, I know quite a lot of you are into this sort of art uh, making as well. Uh, I also just want to say that because I know I've done a couple of other sketchbook process videos about uh, this sketchbook um, and described my process, uh, I was gonna do a bit of a chat to begin with on um, more of a general topic about why I think this sort of art making is beneficial um, for me uh, and maybe it will strike a chord with you and then in the last segment of the video I did suddenly come up with a new idea for um, how to fill these pages so I will share some tips um, from how I then decided to finish this sketchbook spread. Just to say, overall, I think because I sped it up two times, this this page took me 20 minutes um, because I really felt like I wanted to spend some time uh, going into detail and making this more of a detailed spread just for my own, where I was in my own head. Okay, so I'm just going to have a chat about um, why I think uh, this sort of abstract uh, doodling art is something I'm getting a lot of benefit from. So I started doing abstract art approximately, I guess, five years ago. I guess I have always doodled. Um, I've always found something pleasurable in mark making. I do remember at school or in lectures, I'd always I'd kind of doodle in the sidelines to um, almost help me focus in a way. I felt I could listen better actually if I was doing something with my hand. Um, maybe that again, the maybe you also have found this as well. Um, and then looking back, the interesting thing is looking back recently, thanks to these sketchbook tools I've been making, uh, looking back at the pandemic journals and sketchbooks, I can just see how much doodling and geometric abstracts have come, have how I've kind of like needed to go there. And I think this is because I find it personally really calming in its nature. Um, and the other great thing about uh, doing this sort of uh, art is that you can stop and start. It's not frustrating to have, to have a page on the go, um, just take a break from it, go do some other tasks. But maybe if you've got a spare five minutes, you're on put on hold on the phone, um, you're sitting with your caring, you're sitting with someone, you can just pick up, do some marks, put the book down. It isn't, I don't think it's as frustrating to stop as say when I'm engaged in a detailed portrait or I'm making progress on say a landscape painting. Um, so yeah, that's another reason I think that this was came into sort of those pandemic journals when we were all at home and I do think it was a way of yeah there was obviously something therapeutic in um, just switching off escaping from sort of the news and uh, just trying to find some um, peace of mind uh, okay and then um, I did talk also on a recent Substack post about like the different types of art I make and how I feel like I need the variety because it the, the the art that I choose the subject matter is often a reflection of like how I'm feeling um, and where I feel like I need to put um, what I need to do artistically at that time for example like as uh, drawing people and portraiture um, I feel like that sort of work I really enjoy it but I need to have it is actually quite, in a weird way, artistically tiring. Like it is, you do need to concentrate and focus if you are trying to render someone realistically um, and get a likeness. Uh, so it can be frustrating and um, it's 
I like to do it when I've got, to the t number one, I've got the time. I've got a, like, you know, an hour or two. And also I like, feel like the challenge. And um, yeah, it's, and it's also something that you need, I feel like I do want to keep going with because it, drawing people, drawing portraits, I think it, you really see the benefit from practice in that uh, that sort of art and I have done I have to say like I have done commissions before and I do know that um, you know I like to do portraits of my family and I have um, it's something that maybe I will want to get into more as well in the future so landscapes are another aspect that if you do look at all my videos you'll see that I like to paint and draw in my uh, sketchbooks and I do also do them on canvas um, and this sort of work is about I like it because you're able to um, loosen up I'm trying to loosen up my landscapes but at the same time I'm also it's I'm trying to show where the place was like is it a deserty scene I mean maybe some of my landscapes you would be able to recognize hopefully whereabouts um, I'm painting like I've done some recent ones of um, the national parks and I'm hoping that I'm interpreting it in my own way I'm like playing around with colors but at the same time like you know Arches National Park is famous for its arches I have um, popped in um, an arch there and then on to like my floral still lives these are about really getting loose and playful I feel like I like to do these when on days maybe when I'm a little bit melancholy and I'm trying to embrace it's a way of embracing beauty playing and like energizing myself finding joy in um, just a simple composition but just and I hope they cheer other people up too I hope I know I like looking at that kind of art when there's a lot of bad stuff going on that I can't control necessarily and now on to abstracts this is really special to me because it's all about switching off or rather it's um it's in response to my mood um as well and it's about in a way i guess it's like being a bit selfish in some respects in that i'm not thinking about anybody else um i'm just or what anyone else would think about it i'm just plucking out colors I'm uh, I'm not thinking about the outcome I'm just laying down marks it's kind of a sort of a way of sort of I guess self-soothing it's about finding ease in the moment essentially it's if I'm really whizzy in my head and distracted I'm looking to kind of just work it out in a weird way and find I don't know it just helps me I guess and I just feel a lot more karma after I've completed these sort of pages and just yeah less whizzy if that makes any kind of sense um so yeah that I guess it's essentially for me I have I know meditations there was all the rage and it's really good for you but I know I, and I did try that but I find this is for me this is my meditation time so yeah I think for me I feel like I'm getting some of the same effects I definitely get flow Okay, I've realised that I've talked a bit longer about um, just generally why I like the different subjects. And here I just want to now talk about uh, an idea about for process, um, for this process. You will have seen, if you've been watching the video, like I've been grabbing post-it notes and writing down, um, writing down little uh, things on them. Basically, I set myself a challenge to uh, every five minutes switch up what I was doing on the page so for example I'd say pick a selection of random colors from the pens like I've been using felt tips um, so I'd pick a selection I had to just use those what I had in my hand for five minutes on the page then I switched it up and I would I think I picked up oil pastels I did five minutes of oil pastels on the page and here I'm writing is this the last bit I finish off I decided I'd finish this piece off um, with some watercolor uh, Japanese watercolor 
So yeah, this is just an idea for you if you do get stuck when you're making abstract pages, like maybe you're not able to switch off or you do need, um, as it were, a limitation. So maybe um, write down a little list of how you want to spend the time, five minutes on oil pastels, five minutes using um, you know, mauve, neon and a red um, felt tip. So you get to play around with the different mediums and switch it up. Okay, so yeah, this is coming now towards the end of this piece. Um, I'm just finishing it off. It's a fairly, this, this spread is pretty, I'd say cluttered and, well, cluttered and busy, fairly detailed, but I'm, again, this is where I sort of have been in my headspace over the last like few days. So I really wanted to get back into like having almost kitsch, I don't know, really, really detailed pages again, um, which I did do in that big abstract sketchbook as well. I've got pages that are super busy, tiny marks, big marks, and I have pages that are a bit more bare and um, just, yeah, not so, not so busy. Yeah. And that's it really. So... Um, I hope you guys, I know I'm really um, glad that I'm not alone in um, liking, in sort of needing to make this sort of art. Um, I uh, do feel that it does also help um, to you to sort of get to know yourself in a, in a way as well. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching this video and uh, yeah, I hope it is uh, maybe inspiring for your sketchbook process. See you next time.